let's try and figure out where the fuck security is. Sudden stop hits theaters. Oh, he's right there. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. Hey, Langston. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip. Oh shit! I forgot about fridge duty. <laughs> oh my god! Over a day. You forgot about him. Oh my god! There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's. Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door. All oh, right. I forgot. I still had that radio yeah, on. Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. <laughs> There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. Yeah, that was for, uh, I was playing Brutal okay. Legend on Monday, um, although we finished pretty it good with uh, items isn't this week. Standard bureau procedure, and I thought it was very... He doesn't know us very well. ...thematically appropriate. I was just kind of fucking around with uh, with some stuff, and I saw this happened. And I'm like, oh, oh, this is pretty cool. And I used it to test a few other things. I meant to put a few more under its umbrella and adjust the cost, but I'm already midstream, so it'll exist we'll how see it you exists. Later, I'll be here. Like You'll have to just deal with brutal snack. Have a good lurk, Aurora. I appreciate you stopping on by, even if you gotta roll out. Hello, Jesse. I'm it's always back. more fun when there's more people. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Damn, he got mulch. Can I look away. It hurts me. Damn. Yeah, that thing was shredding my health. Former. Huh? That's Sounds new. like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. What? What? I don't know what you are. We got some otherworldly space worms here. Oh shit, it has tentacles! Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Ah! Oh, it was destroying the ground. You know, I know people never look up, but, you know, I also should have looked down. <sighs> Alright, that was, uh... Um, test run. Jesse? Jesse? Oh, hey. Files on the ground. <laughs> No! All right. This time I'll actually have full health, so that will also help. If I look away, it hurts me. Former. I wonder why it's called former. This sounds like the board, but I 
can't understand it. Is it perhaps perhaps the board is not the first extra dimension extra dimensional entity that the uh, that we worked with? Perhaps the former is the original extra dimension extra dimensional entity that uh, um, I forget what this organization calls themselves. Serious? Are you bloody serious? Uh. All right, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Basically. <laughs> seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? I... I guess I killed it as I died? Question mark? I mean, fucking, we'll take it. Apparently we don't get an ability for it though. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Uh, uh, get it? Uh, funny number. 69. I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69, sir. But you just said it. Come on, you guys. It's funny. I'm with this guy. It's, it's the funny number. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. He's only ten days away from You're retirement. Here. Then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I killed it. I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing yes and was no. It was huge. Had one big eye. I it died, but I guess I killed it at the same time. I've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing? Is what got Philip. Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start right. with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I'll see you later, Langston. You know, I'm I'll be I'm here. the director. Shouldn't so. I be like the 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 like the CEO equivalent for these people? Like I should be the big boss woman. 
Why why the fuck are they like fucking bollocks? What I tell I tell you what? Yeah, containment breach. Cause the uh, uh, thingamajigs. You know what? I'm gonna get more health. I need more health. I think more health is a good idea. Cause I keep getting murked. Yeah. Yeah. This whole game is SCP adjacent. That's what the whole Ultra World events, um, objects of power, and all that jazz. Um, and you know what? It's been a minute. Let's uh, let's check out some of the stuff we've been picking up. See if there's anything fun to read. Um, television. No, that one's fucked up. Who cares about it? Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. One, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in their chair. Two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Three, check if the volunteer is comfortable. Four, activate the recording apparatus. Five, after the recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. Employee Incident Incident question occurred on blank and was brought to HR deputies' attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Philston entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had blank his meal. Agent Philston began to kick the brew-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Philston complied with security's commands to desist. Recommendation. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. Review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. I mean, the fridge ate his lunch. It was obviously homemade. You know, that's that's just very rude. I would be pretty pissed too. It's like it's like whenever you uh try and get something out of the vending machine and it sticks. You know? It's supposed to uh, come on down for you to get. Also, Brutal should have fallen off by now. Hold on. Let's see if I know how to count and double check I'm not crazy. Actually, you know what? I bet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, where did I put it? You know, I organize things, things into groups. Ah, yeah. Yeah, no, okay. So I'm going to have to wait until it does fall off, and then I'll have to fix that. Whoops. I didn't realize I put it that high. That's what happens when you test things and forget to put them back to normal. <laughs> um, yeah, that was interesting. Uh... Okay, Mr. Dead Dog, what do you think of this? You know that airplane we brought in? Like, the actual proper airplane? Guess who they made catalog every individual piece of that plane to be examined for suspected altered status? I had to count every bolt, nut, and piece of non-connected metal. And that's just on the exterior of the damn thing. Do you know how many pieces of hardware it takes to make an airplane? I do. I do! 
You know, that is very fair. Uh, if you had to hand dismantle an entire airplane just to make sure nothing was squiggly, do not envy that person. All right, let's clear those out just so they're clear. While all sort of items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it is important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian abilities. See file put 812 for an introduction to the subject. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the blank's affiliation with the objects of power. I think that word is going to be directors. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the director of or the board evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more paranaturally blank than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it's no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. <laughs> Excuse me. In fact, we have blank altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. Ah. I see. Alright, one mission. So that's the main mission. Alright, alright, we got Langston's. We got that. So let's check out that merry go- ah! Fine, I'll hydrate, I'll hydrate. <sighs> Delicious. Life-giving water. It sustains me. Alright, so I need to go to the janitor's office? That's right, because it's below the break room. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, yeah, so we must ponder this. Let's see. Um, strange light in the break room. Well, I don't see break room. Okay. This is one of the gracious ranger buddies. I should find the others. Ah, I wasn't even trying, and I already... Okay, cool. Easy clap. Okay, um... Oh, uh, I think it's towards the janitor's office? Seems like? That's kind of weird. Um... about these. They are very good listeners. You need to scrap that pack. Okay. Maybe it was the thing out this way? That is a weird light in the break room. Ooh, ah! You fucking got me. Alright. You got me. Ugh. This place makes me nauseous. An object of power. Ooh, it's a horsey. Got down here. Cleanse the merry-go-round. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Nay. Huh, that seemed to be affected by the hiss for a second before we control to evade. Oh, we got a dash ability. Uh... Okay... Uh, hmm. I mean, evades 
space to control the air evade? I mean, I guess. Gold enemies are immune to attacks. Yes, we've been through this. Oh no, they're shooting grenades at me, and I simply just dash. Alright. I mean, okay, it's an ability, I guess. Keep up with me now. Not sure how much I care about it. You know what's better than evading? Just, just fucking killing them. That uh, that also reduces the amount of damage they can inflict. Ow! Fucking flashbang, please. Ah, thank you for the head pats. Where is the teleport man? Because the teleport can. Ah! Ah! Yeah, something in my eye. Ow. Ah! I can only assume I've been betrayed by my own eyelashes and fell into my eye. You're the chosen one! We were supposed to prevent things from getting in my eye, not fall in my eye yourself! Now let's get more health. Alright, so that was kind of a... It was certainly a thing. Uh, burn the trash around the furnace. Okay. Furnace? Furnace? Furnace chamber. Where is it? By the coolant pumps. There we go. And I go this way. Barrels full of hazardous biological material. Yeah, yeah, it's no big deal. Oh, hey, we can fly up to these areas now. I just realized that. Whee! Burn, burn, burn! Burn all the trash! Feed the flame. That's not right. Hiya! Nope. Yeah, I think it's all the hazardous material. That seems about right. Oh, that one didn't make it in. Okay. All right. Where's the rest of it? Stop it! I want to grab this thing specifically. Thank you very much. I feel like it's not healthy to be holding a biohazard so close to myself. But, you know, maybe I'm crazy. Also, should have started from furthest away to closest. Alright, alright. I think we just have two more? Fuck. As fun as the physics is, it does not have the best uh, aim. There we go. Mission completed. Burn the trash. 
Oh, it's just a simple side quest. Eh, whatever. Two ability points. Means we can get another rank of health. Which I will not say no to, considering how often I've been getting murked today. Alright. Now that we've had some nice little detours, how about we press on with the main event? So we need to go to containment. What is the fastest way there? I think we just go to the Panopticon, back to security, and then we can just kind of go up. Seems like the fastest way to do that. Find the Prime Candidate Program. Yeah, yeah, cell breaches, smell breaches. I'm sure they'll be fine. Alright, so we're here. Um, how do I get inside there? Oh, you know what? I bet I push this button. Yeah! Now we got the thing. Oh, what's this? You know me, I love me finding some pieces of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Hey! What are you doing here? I need you to stop what you're doing. Alright, this is a whole load of bollocks. The flying dudes dodge whenever I use my physics ability. So the fact they have the shield... Not there. Oh, he didn't dodge it all the way. There we go. Ragdolls, baby. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Um, y'all have ads. Oh, daily reminder if you have Twitch Prime. Make sure you use it, whether it's here or elsewhere. Doing so is money right out of Bezos' pocket, and ain't that the most ethical theft a person can do? So remember to use your Twitch Prime somewhere, anywhere. I am lost, oh so lost. Uh, mm, wrong way. I need to go this way. Probably the way that I just unlocked. Yep, that looks about right. Excuse you? Good, sir. I'll have you know. Ooh, that's a... New area marker. To find new prime candidates. The bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. P6 and P7. What does that mean? There he is. 
guy that's right next to me. Alright, I'm gonna need y'all to fuck off. Well, yeah, like that. Okay, dude. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, he's got a shield. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. Now he's gone. I do love that my rail pistol does so much damage. The fact that a healer is around basically doesn't matter. Oh, shit. We got fucky hallways. We got fucky perspectives. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all twisting. Ooh, I'm all twisty. I got some non-Euclidean geometry. Fucking M.C. Escher ass hallway. Um, maybe there's some files down here. All right, can y'all can y'all get your can, can y'all like stop doing the creepy chant or maybe tune into another channel? I feel like the song has been on y'all's you know, y'all's chant has kind of been on repeat a little bit. You know, maybe maybe jazz it up, maybe some classics. You know, hit me hit me with that hit me with that you know classic rock, some radioactive by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> This is this isn't your mom's metal. Where we only play rock, rock, and more rock. Ready to win. Oh, I wish I remembered that whole meme off the top of my head. Well, no, we got the. We got to be a little bit more more sneaky to trip me up on that. Differently in ordinary for us. Ooh, slideshow. Wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Coming together in this one case, uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden. All right, that's our brother. Candidate six. Okay, so he's P6. Sister as well. So I must be P7. Up, the, the boy had so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. No and, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. Okay. All right. It's remarkable. Are you, are you going to explain? Okay, no, he's not. All right, cool. Wait. There was an incident. Yes. Oh, time jump. All right, all right. So you're telling me kidnapping a child um, and secreting him away and subjecting him to a bunch of scientific tests... We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. ...results in an incident and they're not well adjusted? I'm, I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. Dylan has so much. I'm sure there is no parallels with any kind of... Kid government entity doing scientific experiments on people. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Ooh. Ooh. That phrase did not age well. under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Oh, yeah, yeah, boys. Just going around Marshall murdering people as, as they are wont to do. Apparently, in this world, I mean, uh, dude, bruh, maybe, maybe, maybe y'all shouldn't do things this way. Like, I don't know, crazy thought here, but um, maybe, maybe do things differently. All right, hold on. Well, actually, uh, those were those were files. We got. We should read those. All right, first we got the. 
Nope, it's not in case files. Research and records? Right, Dylan figured. Transcript of conversation. Subject was alone during this outburst. Dylan figured. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her! I don't care anymore! I don't care about you! You both left me here to rot! Fuck off! I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here! Get the fucking message! Subject repeated the phrase, fuck off, numerous times before being sedated. So, I guess Polaris was communicating to him? But wasn't able to do any... See, I feel like Polaris isn't able to interact. It's only like an advisory entity. Because we kind of only are see Like, Polaris will like show indicators of like where to go but i feel like polaris itself isn't like acting in our reality at all it's just kind of sitting on our shoulder so to speak agent killed during blank involving blank autopsy findings blunt force injuries to the head and neck trauma to the abdominal region lacerations and contusions on the upper and lower torso. Fracture of spinal cord. Ooh. Avulsion fra- Okay, I don't know what an avulsion fracture is. Of the third through tenth ribs, left and right. Blunt force injuries of the extremities. Abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of the left and right elbow. Dislocation of the left and right knee. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal, internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his blank. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to construct what might have happened. Did the motherfucker basically, um, so, third, I think, so like topmost would be one and the bottommost is ten. So like, I think like the entire core of his, the center of his body was hit with such strength that it broke his rib cage. Um, the acceleration was so fast, it dislocated his, um, you know, his further out joints, the, the elbows and knees. And then, um, actually, you know, I think he may have, like, just straight up gotten fucking Mortal Kombated. Like, his, his, like, rib cage area, like, ripping out of his flesh, perhaps. Um, or maybe, like, he slammed against something and that, I don't know. Either way, dude was dead. <laughs> this is what we call in the biz dead <laughs> D-E-D <laughs> uh, alright um, cool P7, alright, that's us wanted me to see. it doesn't matter, we need to find that projector oh, that's creepy as fuck All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Bright eyes, blinded by fear of light. Oh, watching me, watching you, watching me, watching you, watching me, watching you. Excellent, excellent cover by, uh... Lion Guardian of that song, if you've never heard it. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This Who time, is she talking to? A psychologist? I was different. We found a way in. 
deeper into it. Like, it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Yep, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Oh my gosh. No. <sighs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. The slide projector isn't a what metaphor. Is it's a literal Canada. slide projector. At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures ah! that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? What the Did that fuck? make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Did you ever have a fucking imagination? <laughs> what the Stepping fuck is this psychiatrist? Into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, dude. Makes me think, uh... I remember one time... I don't know... I don't remember how or why. But I think I think they just had like a... Some kind of credit or like a free session kind of thing. But... Each of us in our family went into a... I don't know if it was a psychiatrist, therapist, or whatnot. But I know for me, and I think my siblings, they were keying off of, like, addicted to video games. You know, uh, 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 uh. Um, the reason they, they seem to have twinged on that area. is because... Um, That's the place to start looking. One time we woke up really early on a Saturday weekend and went to play... 007 GoldenEye together, which apparently is an indicator of video game addiction. Yeah. Then... Oh! Oh, uh, anti-video game craze that swept through people uh, in the 90s and early 2000s. Fucking crazy. Good thing that people are normal, rational beings that no longer have crazy, weird scaremongering. And we've learned our lesson. Yep. Just normal, rational people about things they like. <laughs> Hmm, I don't... That's, that's, that's a lot of red over there. I don't think that's very good. Oop. You got a cube! Give me what delicious, delicious it... Prizes. Cube! Ding! Are you kidding? You son of a... Mmm! Punch up. Bullshit! Putting a fucking explodey you dude too? I were both prime candidates. Yes, you already knew this. Experiments. Well, you weren't an experiment. Your your brother though. Certainly sounds like they experiment on him. Somehow. Some way. Alright, I need all of y'all to fuck off. Explodey dudes go away. I said explodey dudes go away.
All right, boys, book them. Take them away. Good stuff, good stuff. Is that the last one? I feel like I'm missing someone. No, no, it sounds like combat music went away. Cleanse the control points. We're going back home. Of course we are. All right. Can I afford to upgrade? No, I cannot. So close. I need another corrupted sample. I don't know what it's from. But as soon as I get one... It started there, and it's... Never gone away. Going back to ordinary. Turn tables in a rise. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Maybe it just spins right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Bucket. Basically converts into my team, so we'll just do that. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we have a danger glitch. Alright, so let's ignore that dude. Um, what's over here? Door! Just a cube. Give me your delicious goodies. Wait a minute, in Tropic Echo, wasn't that the thing I was waiting for so I could upgrade my railgun? Pause champ, pause champ. Button. Is it the rotato? Yep, that's the rotato. Okay, well this takes fucking forever to rotate, we're going to go check if my memory is accurate. Something's blocking it. Yeah, that bullshit. Monstrix? No, it's a corrupted sample. Damn. Okay, I rotated it. Now what? The ordinary awe. Are you in awe of the ordinary? Do you find yourself extraordinary? Come on down to Ohio. Where ordinary is every day. Alright, alright. Seems fine. Yep, you gotta. What the? F the fuck are you? The fuck is this? The fuck is that? The fuck are you? Come on, show your ugly mug. I dare you. What the fuck? I don't like that. I don't like it at all. There's gotta be something hidden. Yeah, there we go. Cube! Stop giving me entropic echoes. That's not what I need. Oh hey, 
there's that airplane that that one dude had to hand take apart and catalog. Ooh, power cube. Obvious power cube go in the obvious cube receptacle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's gonna be another explody guy. Oh, elevator. All right, just because I haven't been able to open it doesn't mean there's not going to be an exploded guy as soon as I am able to open it. All right, so you go in there. I'm missing one. There we go. Seriously? Ugh. Oh, hey, I restored some health. That's nice. Alright, so I'm gonna hit this button and there's gonna be. Oh, there's not. Alright. Plus one for the unexpected, I guess. I expected the unexpected and I was found wanting. These guys, though. Boom! Ow! Alright, I'm gonna need y'all to die and drop me lots of delicious health. Because I am hurting! Come on! Come on! Health tastes like blueberries. See? The enemies drop blueberries, and they heal me up. <laughs> How about I make a click? Um, that's very bright. It's very... Is there any things on the console? I feel like there's got to be something to do with that airplane, but it's probably going to be like a side quest that unlocks once I finish whatever main story thing is going on with this uh, section of the facility. Hey, dude. What you doing there? Besides dying, of course. <laughs> You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years shining a light in the shadows. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first caller. Hi. What am I about to tell you? Thank you. Kind of spoopy. Oh. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of alternate okay. world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So supposedly haunted. affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture. All right, all right, talking about religions. memes. But we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. How about mine? We have found a method to control the outcome. Mind the bullets. Yes. There's something unique in us, in our dreams. In the conceptual reality with power with our minds what's the cause and what's the effect are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this a byproduct a reflection there's a, a projection we'll struggle to this? find the answers to these hard questions or diatribe i cannot remember the name of the book i just remember it's a space opera um 
that was kind of hinging on that sort of unconscious um, human connection, like the undermined. And it's sort of like some people were able to tap into it and it gives them like the power of humanity manifest kind of thing. It's a space opera, so it's kind of a... You either, you either like it or you hate it kind of thing. It's got a certain style and flair to it. You either vibe with it or you don't. It was okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>